Today we will be exploring the Nottaway Plantation, which is near Baton Rouge, Louisiana. John Hamden Randolph purchased the land for his home in 1855. He, his wife, and their 11, and yes, I said 11, children would live there. When the plantation was completed, it had 64 rooms and sat on over 1,000 acres of property. It is widely documented that the home was indeed built by slaves. The home's history. The Civil War began shortly after the home was complete. He was not a supporter of this war. He indeed sent three of his sons to fight for the Confederacy, losing his oldest son in the war. The sugar plantation was occupied by both the Union and Confederate troops. Fortunately, the plantation survived the war. John Randolph died in 1883, leaving the plantation to his wife, who then left it to their surviving nine children. Today, the home serves as a hotel and event venue. The Nottaway is said to be home to the ghost of a coachman who stood at the front door of the house during the Civil War. I found one slave being killed, but I couldn't find any details about it. If anything, this place does a really, really good job in trying to cover up what happened to the slaves there because I couldn't find out a lot about that. Uh, people report hearing bells ringing, lights flickering, and being touched in the shower. Employees of the plantation today report hearing furniture moving and hair being pulled. Whether you believe it is haunted or not, you can't deny the sheer beauty this plantation holds. On the next episode, we will be exploring the Drish House in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We'll see you then.